What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and as you can see, we are on KnowledgeExchange.org, and we have a new question here asked by AfterCG. And his question is, and it's asking inside of the Adobe Edge Animate Zone. Hello, I would like to change the text of a text element when a button is clicked. Can someone please tell me how to do this? Thank you. Well, it's very easy as I posted here. This is my user and I posted this is actually rather simple to accomplish. So let's go ahead and jump into I'll bring this up. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see we got a W Edge just open. Let's go ahead and create a new project. What we're going to do here is that we're going to drop a couple of text elements. And the first one that we're going to do here is a top one. I'm just going to put a comma in here. <coughs> or whatever that is. And then we're going to add in a couple of text boxes. And this is going to be uh, text 1. Stretch it out a little bit. Let's change its text to about 18. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this four times, like Control C, Control V, Command C, Command V on a Mac. And then we're going to drag this out, double click, name this one 2. And then we're going to go to the next one, drag it out, name it 3. And then the last one, drag it out, double click, name it now what we're going to do is that we're going to actually add code in here that's going to change the text of here so that we do not have to uh, create multiple instances of our text field here for each one of these. We're just going to continue to recycle this text element and reuse it over and over again. So you click here, open it up and choose click. <clears throat> Excuse me. First thing we want to do is type in sim money sign the name of our element, which is text. Oops. Dot HTML, and this is where our HTML code is going to go. So this is text element number one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so what I mean, it's uh, simple. You just copy this, and then we go to the next one. Paste this. Change this to a two. And then go to the next one. Click. Paste. Change this to a three. And then our last one. Paste. Change this to a four. And now whenever we run the project, we click on each element, and as you can see, it changes. This is element number one, number two, number three, and number four. However, what if we wanted to uh, make things a little bit, I don't know, bolder, better? You can either do B for bold, I prefer to do strong. And so whenever we run this now, this is element number one. So this is bold. The rest of them are not because we haven't done anything to that one. What if we wanted to add another line of code? So how do you do that is that you go to the end, you create a break tag, and then say this is the second line. And so then whenever you run your project then, you have your second line right here and the rest of them are the same as what they were because we haven't added in that second line to that one. So let's jump over here to text element. That's uh, text number two. Well actually, yeah. That's text one. Text two. Text three and takes four and you rename these elements by double clicking with your mouse to rename these <clears throat> so let's go over here to takes four and then let's 
Create a bold for this one. And then let's jump down to the next line and let's say uh, hello this is line number two and so now whenever we run it we've got our first one this this is element number one this is the second line um, element two stays the same element three stays the same and element four has basically the same thing as element line number one does and so that is how you do it. Uh, it's r really rather simple. Just remember sim dot money sign parentheses and then your text element there or the name of whatever you're going to name this element which is the element that's going to grab the HTML feed from here and then just go in here and play around with some HTML code add that in and customize the way that you want your text to appear to your user. All right, Wayne Barron, darkfakes.net. Y'all have a rocking week. Bye-bye.